Hey, welcome back or welcome to everyone. If this is your first time here, today we're gonna to do an unboxing, uh, I guess you call it an install, we're gonna put it on the camera, and a quick review run through of the GoPro Hero uh, Max Lens Mod. Now this works on the GoPro Hero 11, which is the version I just model, I just picked up right here. But before we get into the camera and everything else, let's open the box and see what we have in there, all right? Okay, so the tape, it's at the bottom. Right, always cut away from yourself, people. I learned the hard way many years ago. It was a bloodbath. All right, so we're gonna pop that open and let's take a guess. If we slide it out underneath, will it be right side up or upside down? I'm gonna go upside down. Regardless, it doesn't matter. We're gonna see what we have here. Yup, upside down. Down? Yeah. Or no. Either, yes, okay, so it goes like this. All right, so here it was in here. All right, it's inside of there. Let's see what it comes with. Awesome, we actually have a user guide in here. This goes through how to install it. Okay, pretty basic. A lot of tips for using it. You gotta use the max lens mode. All right, don't forget that. And also, this gives the tech specs. This gives a 155 degree look, all right? Digital, digital lens, has horizon lock. Uh, it's also something that's on the GoPro Hero 11 under the linear horizon lock. So we're gonna test this out and see if it has horizon lock while it's on and not engaging the horizon lock, all right? Um, you can hide the max lens icon, all that stuff. All right, pretty basic, okay? Limited lifetime warranty, explains the warranty here. It must be signed in blood. All right, so let's look at what's in this little, cool little container. Set up here, I call this set up. All right, so we'll take this out. We've got what's in the box. All right, what's actually in here? We've got a cleaning cloth. Very nice, always nice to have. Even emblemized with GoPro. So it's official. All right, and then we have the actual Max Lens mod, all right? And again, this is from GoPro. It has a nice cover on the front. Oh man, I love that, all right? It protects the lens. Okay, this is amazing. All right, so now that we have this here, we've taken a look at it. Um, and actually, yeah, like that. So anyone who's, who's done photography, you should be familiar with this, like the cover setup, right? You got the lens cover and you got the back cover. Really nice rubber. Don't see this being an issue. These are, this is really nice. High quality stuff here, all right? So there we go, put it back together, all set. So now let's get the camera over here and see how you do this. So just looking at the GoPro, if you're familiar with the GoPro, um, you already know how to do this, all right? But if you're not, all right, what you're gonna do to get this off is you're going to twist it. And sometimes it helps if you pull it out a little bit. And then you're gonna twist it either direction. You're gonna be able to pop off the old lens. All right, that's right there. We're just gonna set that down off camera in a safe spot. So now what you do just do the same thing, but do it backwards. And I'm going to keep the lens cover on while I do this, just so I don't smudge it with my fingers. And same thing, so look at these, these tabs here. You want those to line up with that. It's gonna help it fit in place. So you put those there, you push in, and you spin. And it's a little difficult with the, with the cover on, but it'll work until you get it locked in place, all right? So there we go. Let's get up close and personal here. All right, you see that? Nice and connected. Max Lens Mod. Here's looking at you, kid. Hopefully that's not copyrighted. Okay, now that we have this Max Lens Mod on here, before we even like get it set up and turned on, let's talk about what this does, all right? So GoPro's advertising that this will have maximum hyper smooth, 
All right, so HyperSmooth is already pretty awesome on here, I've noticed over the past few days. They're saying it's gonna make it better. Uh, you can shoot 2.7K at 60 frames per second. Uh, that might be the slow mode. I think normally it's 30 and 24 at 2.7K. Um, this gives an ultra wide field of view, 155 degrees, which gives an enhanced perspective and an improved depth of field. Uh, horizontal lock, max time warp, and this here is waterproof up to five meters. Now again, if you're using the media mod case, I don't know if that changes. So don't quote anything I say in here, or if you jump into a pool and somehow get your, your GoPro down below that depth, don't say that DIY tutorial guy said that and come after me. Check the GoPro site before you go dunking anything in water or taking any chances with your, with your equipment, all right? So now let's go and look how we get this set up. All right, so let's get this set up, all right? Um, now, my iPhone's not the best at capturing the back of this, but you can already see it's very fish-eyed, like cheap fish-eye, right? Very circular. So we have to do for that, all right? Swipe down. Whoops. I got a video. Swipe down for your preferences. This icon here, tap that. It says video mode will be disabled. Enabling max lens mode will disable your video mode. So whatever mode you're in, custom or whatever, it's gonna disable that. So hit continue. All right, it says max load en enabled. Make sure the max lens mode is enabled on your GoPro. All right, so now we see here, all right, we've got max video, 2.7K, 60 frames a second. Let's just touch a few of these other things. All right, so slow-mo, normal speed 30 frames per second, normal speed 24 frames per second. So let's go 30 frames. All right, and what we're gonna do now is, as you can see here, max super view or wide are our only options. All right, 14 millimeter or 16 millimeter. Horizon locked, okay. Not locked, you can see a little difference. Hindsight is on. Turn that off. So that's what those are gonna do when you see, oh, whoops. All right, so now let's look in here. Let's click on this and let's see how you can customize this. All right, what are our options once it's in here? All right, so we can go in here and like you see here, you can do your 60, 30, 24, 16, nine, or four, three aspect ratios. And these are your options, right? When you're shooting with this. Um, so we're back here. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna take this outside, I'm gonna get it set up and we'll run, run through what it looks like with the max, max lens mod and then without the max lens mod and we'll see what the fields of view look like. Uh, just real quick, nothing fancy out in my backyard. Uh, we'll go from there, so stick around. All right, so now we're outside. I've got the max lens mod on. I have max lens mode enabled. Remember, you have to enable that in order for this to work properly. I showed you that inside. Now when we're shooting in this, we can only shoot in 16.9 or four or three. All right, so those are our two limitations, which is no big deal. I usually shoot in 16.9. Second, we're limited to 2.7K or 1080, uh, 60, 30, 24 frames per second. We can look at all that. We saw that previous. So the purpose of this video, what I'm gonna shoot in, 16.9, we're gonna do uh, the regular wide lens and then the super view. We'll do 2.7K at 30 frames per second. I'm not gonna deviate from them. Then we'll do the 16.9 with, like I said, 16.9 with the wide and the super view. We'll do the same thing with 4.3. We'll do the wide and the super view, I think they're called. We'll shoot that in 2.7K, 30 frames per second. Uh, horizon lock is standard for this, so that'll be on the whole time. And then what we'll do is I'll run through with those same settings on the regular lens. We'll walk the same path and we'll do a side by side in this video so you can see the difference as I'm walking and make your own determination on whether or not you feel you need this. Now, one thing I want to point out with the GoPro 11, I'm hearing that the field of view is really close to what the max lens can enable, uh, max lens mod can do. And I'm also hearing that because there's now horizon lock, linear horizon lock, kind of takes away one of the sweet features of this that was that it comes with horizon lock. But regardless, I'm talking too much. You guys aren't here for the mustache or for me talking. You're here to see about this lens. So let's flip this around.
Okay, so that wraps up the side-by-side -side comparison of the regular lens versus the Max Lens Mod for the GoPro Hero 11. Hope it helped out. I uh, hope my editing was sufficient. I'm just trying something new here, try to keep it a little interesting. Uh, if this definitely helped or if it helped you form an opinion, if you liked this video, hit that like button. Maybe subscribe, turn on those notifications. Uh, the more subs we get on this channel, the more cool stuff I can do. I've got a lot of ideas, a lot of things in the works. Uh, trying to put videos out every two weeks these days, all right? Uh, last thing, leave you all with this, man. Be kind to each other. Take care of the little guy. Peace.